I started with a normal, cheap, uh, empty bottle of wine and I started with scraping off the label, of course soaking it off in soapy warm water works as well but I didn't have patience for that. So instead I'm just scraping away and then using acetone to um, take off the sticky residue or nail polish and then scraping a little bit more until I get it perfectly clean. The acetone is also really useful for removing um, oils from handling it uh, before the paint or the glue. Of course there was this um, band around the neck of the bottle that I didn't want because it was loose and just cleaning off the tiny little tabs from the screw cap uh, and also filing it so that the surface is well prepared to take paint and other mediums. Now I'm making a mixture of PVA glue and water making it a quite runny actually um, but the PVA glue I'm using is actually builders glue so it's quite thick um, and I just take some packaging tissue paper and start crumpling it up and sticking it on to the bottle in a semi-random fashion just trying to first cover the whole surface of the bottle with the tissue tape and as I work I don't drag my brush over the tissue paper so much uh, more like I'm stippling it on so that I don't tear it and it also helps with uh, creating those dimensional wrinkles um, that are going to look really nice when it's dry. I'm uh, patching up holes that I might have missed on the surface and I just start adding a second layer for a bit more dimension and doubling up on that texture wherever I just feel like it's necessary. Um, this is actually quite a relaxing activity for me. Um, it, it's time consuming, of course. It uh, depends. <laughs> Some people might find it annoying. But for me, it's uh, very pleasant. Here I am probably completed the two layers and uh, this is after uh, those first two layers have already dried so that now I can move on and work on the neck of the bottle which I couldn't before because I was holding on to it and now I can like just freely rest it on my work surface and roll it around as needed patching and adding layers until it just looks good to me. Okay, so I have collected a bunch of uh, stirring sticks or coffee stirrers um, over time. Uh, just grabbed a handful here and there. Um, and I'm going to use these to decorate the bottom part of the bottle. The original idea was to make like a wooden fence, uh, reminiscent of a garden. I was thinking about um, like a vineyard or something. So I just 
cut all of these stirring sticks in half and right now I'm measuring to see if I have enough stirring sticks cut in half to go around the bottle so I just grabbed some measuring tape and making sure that I have enough which it seems that I did on the first try and now I'm going to stain the wood with a nice reddish brown color this is not actually painting it's actually staining the wood and besides the fact that it gives an or original or an initial color um, it actually seals in the wood a little bit because the paint I'm using is acrylic and it makes the wood a little bit less porous so that additional layers of paint wouldn't be uh, resaturating or making the wood wet um, so this first layer, although, you know, it's a little bit of color, um, it's more for protection. And I was thinking I wanted a little bit of a something, a trim to go around the fence. So I had this uh, round fabric cord and I've just taken three strands and I'm braiding them together just making sure that it's long enough it's just a simple three braid three strand braid measuring to see if it's long enough and I'm going to apply a layer of color I kind of picked a color that I knew I was going to want to use as a base layer on my bottle but really the color doesn't matter again this is mostly so that I seal in the fibers of the cord so that it becomes less porous and less absorbent and now I'm addressing the cap using the same cord to just wrap around it a few times because it's a screw cap it had already this um, texture of circular lines and I'm just using those as a guide to wrap my cord around it with hot glue in the end uh, in, at the end of the project this will end up covered up but at the time I didn't know that so here I am starting to stick on the wooden sticks creating my little fence and um, I was trying to be careful to stay at the 90 degree angle um, horizontal to the bottle but unfortunately it wasn't perfect the widths of the stirring sticks weren't exactly the same and my accuracy wasn't perfect either because hot glue is finicky and once you place something down it's difficult to move it so although it's not a perfect um, it will do the job as other decorative items in the end will cover up my mistakes um, I'm using a low temperature heat gun with a precision nozzle um, the trigger is a little bit loose so I'm often using just my thumb to push the glue stick a little bit further and here it is with the so-called fence stuck on and now I'm going to just
glue that braided cord on. I was cutting off the knots there. The knots were there just so that my braid would stay un until it would get stuck down. <laughs> 